have a lot to fix in there because it's a mess. Thanks to someone. Hey there, either there, and welcome to another Narjan Reacts. And this we're reacting to the Owl House season one, episode fifteen. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Too wiggly. Too obvious. Now we're talking. I think. So. I feel like somebody would do something with the tentacle one, and we'll save that for a different site. Today is a Talons Day. Rawr. Hey, girls. Rawr. I bug out at my birthday party. Where's the, oh. Invite Those are cool. But you witches are my VIP. Scara. Are these made of real insect wings? My dad spared no expense. You only Why real? You, you have every age once. You have magic. Why would you use real butterfly? Wait. Also, okay, I know her name is Scara, but she's new. She's a new character. Oh my god, thumb wars. I remember those. It's so weird. How did this thing go again? Something, something, I declare a thumb war. I forgot how it went. We never do smileys on our fingers. It's always just like. I remember being like this, and it was I declare a thumb war. And it was whoever pinned down the thumb first. Too bad she's already burned her social life at the stake. Any friend of Willow. Is Amity gonna defend her? Loose. Why did you give me an invite that was molting? Gross. Give me another one. Wait, when do butterflies uh, molt? Butterflies don't molt. You look like a Pokemon. Kid fight. Kid fight. Oh, the teacher's getting on it too. Actually, with how a lot of schools are, I wonder if the, the teachers are secretly like that because there are a lot of times where fights break out and then it just, at least in TV shows, they always show it where like kids get into fights and then, and then like no, not, no teacher show up ever. They're just all secretly standing in the uh, classroom, just watching from the window eating popcorn. <laughs> that was too early. Understanding Willow. Oh so gosh, we're gonna get backstory? Or we're gonna figure baby. out how, why Willow's way she is. <laughs> it eats everything you have, so. Look at me. I feel like Amity doesn't really like agree with what she's saying, but like just tolerates her. Also, Scar is smiling, so she also is in on bullying Willow. Okay, I don't like her. I'm going on a date with my ferns. <laughs> Probably better than people. Be Amity, weren't you friends with Willow? I'm a Basha's a we only Bisha. With a select few. Keep annoying me though. I'm happy to select fewer. Oh, I could <laughs> I mean, you're still hanging out with them, though. Hang with it, Luce and Willow. They're nicer. Oh, there's right, Methalamil. Let's pick another juicy one. Be careful with my brain. I want that. Oh my god, if we could literally do that and actually pull out like memories that way, that'd be so cool. These are moments that evoke a strong emotional response. There'd be a lot I'd want to pull out. Rainbow. Brainbow. But if you damage the prints, you'll damage the memories themselves. Oh. Be extremely careful. What if I want to purposely damage it? Well, or what if they're damaged to begin with? Could you mess with it to fix it? Or do you just damage it further and just make it worse? Experiment. <laughs> Photo class is intense. Does that willow with an awkward hair face too? I knew we were meant to be friends. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. Oh, I think you know what? I actually thought the other little girl was uh Ida, but because her hair is like an orangey color, but yeah, Ida's was really bright. Never mind. Hey, I know and how could they be this how could Willow and her be the same age? Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. That's my motto after all. Not if Wait, that's Amy? Wait, that's Amity? She had brown orange hair. Now let's get to lunch. I want to find out what happened between them because from as far as I know, it was Amity. So Amity had brown orange hair. Oh wait, I just realized you actually see some of it in the. Fr Has that always been there? The like little bit of orange brown in the front. If not, then I've completely missed that. And uh, interesting. 
Oh, what if what if the reason why her hair is that color is because of something Willow did, and so that's why Amity doesn't like what. I feel like that can't be a reason to break a friendship, though, that your hair color just changed. I mean, I'd be upset, but I wouldn't break a friendship over it. Why do you look like you've seen a ghost? Is there Stop a ghost staring. Ask if they have any friends. <laughs> Don't touch them, Amity. Don't oh, damn I'm sorry, but I have to do this. You just burned a memory! Oh, you just burned them all. No, 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 no. Um, it's gonna spread. Remove it. It's gonna spread. Don't blow it! Fire. Oh, come on. Really? Oh my god, there's that buff. Oh wait, there's a, uh, what's her name? Little Nose. <laughs> but what the fudge? Why does he have the beefy figurine in there again? The crime are about to commit one. Sadly, this is one problem. Apple blood. Oh. My interview for journalism class is due tomorrow. I guess it is kind of apple blood. To someone interesting, accomplished, and noteworthy. People are also, can I just say that their food in that in Hex Hex School looks way better than school food in the United States? <laughs> meant to be all those when did it get so hot? Her memories are literally on fire. I wouldn't think it would affect her like that. You look good? Remind me of your names? How does she even know she's Willow if her memories have been entirely burned? <gasps> Amity. Hi. You destroyed Willow's memories? I saved as many as I could. Oh, it's Amity's turn to make a big screw up. <laughs> Why would they make memories so flammable? Blap. Blap. <laughs> this reminds me of something Mabel would be like. You destroyed her identity. And you sleep here when the night critters. Oh yeah, Amity's never been inside the outhouse. Ah, chair for sitting. She's gonna sit on King. Oh. <laughs> oh she still I'm seems like the same through. person, but just doesn't know how to be a human or a wizard. <sighs> sleep spell. <sighs> he doesn't even need a spell. He just goes to sleep anyway. Uh, yeah, who cares? Is yeah. there anything we but it's terribly dangerous and partially illegal. So you're in the right Yeah, I was gonna say he just doesn't mind it being illegal. Not a lot to fix in there, because it's a mess. Yep. Thanks to someone. Unbelievable disregard for her safety. Downright despicable. Oh right, it was you. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the casual like I'm pretty good at getting guilt. inside people's heads. This is someone's brain, not a nightclub. Two uh -uh. maps. I love how Hootie, whenever he like says something funny or something like that, the, he just gets slammed on himself. Uh, Raising the dead. Ball. What is that book? Must I, turn to I was kidding. Sources. No. Gus has a lot on his plate. We already we already kind of got that with uh, Gravity Falls with the zombie episode, so we don't need to we don't need to relive that. Amity, you have to go with me. Willow, you gotta fix it. Want me in there. You said everything in there on, on fire. You have to help. You gotta help put it out. Come on, Amy. I'll do what I can. Yes, hold hands. All right. Bold choice taking the girl. She's the gatekeeper of emotions and memory. She might help you. Hmm. She might help you or attack you. Now. I love how Luce, like, is so excited about doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> and meanwhile, the ones who actually live with this magic all the time are kind of like, Mm, okay, I don't really want to, but all right. Of course, her mind would have a bunch of mushroom-shaped trees. Are those gonna be literally windows into her memories? Oh, they're paintings. Photographs? This is like the paintings from the Mario 64 game. I'm gonna put my face in it. What? I don't think that's a good idea, Luce. I think I found the memories. Let's go. Ah! I mean, aren't they all memories? And welcome to Willow's beautiful memory. Burnt up just Kuna. It's like a little doghouse for angels. Angels. Wait, something is missing. Amity plus Willow. She fixed it. We're back. She's got to fix them.
Wait, I heard her say sea gulls, but she's saying sea skulls. Okay, that's a that's a clever play on that name or that uh, seagulls. <laughs> now let's fix some more. Yeah, I want to know why Amity broke it off with Willow. Let's do it next. What was so bad about that photo? Unless it reminds Amity of what happened because that's the day it all went down. Is that inner Willow? Hootie. Is she though? Did you just alien Gus's clone? If you want to get picked, you'll have to impress me. Uh-oh. Competition incoming. Oh, wait. So Willow had two dads. Aw. I love the representation in this show. <laughs> See, Disney... All right, this is a Disney show. But you know what? I consider because it wasn't made by Disney. And... Yeah, because I consider, like, whatever airs on Disney kind of separate from what Disney produces film-wise, like, movie-wise. So, this is how you represent a gay couple. Not, well, with Pixar, when they did Finding Dory, and then they had that gay, like, they hinted toward those two women with the cart being gay. And Disney went, and, like, really dulled it, like, dumbed it down. Not dumbed it down. They really, like, cut, a, like, cut it. So, it was... You could tell, but it wasn't obvious. Um, so I'm glad I see it in this show that was on Disney. <laughs> Weapon of wait, 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 wait. Weapon of Love. What was on it? What was the cover? What the fudge? He's holding his. That's a mace, right? That's what they're called. It's a mace. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> He's in love with his mace. Roller Ghoster. That's a cute name. You don't need to see how this one ends. Oh. Yeah, Willow threw up a lot that day. That's when you knew she was having fun. Ew, I mean... Oh. <laughs> Even Luce is like... I love how Amity kind of smiles at that. It's like flipped. Earlier, Amity was kind of like over stuff while Luce was like, ah. Now, Luce is like, ew. While Amity was like smiling at it fondly. We can fix this together. We can do it. Bob we the Builder. We can fix... Heck yeah, we can. I just... That looks like Baymax. If he was a fire spirit. No. talk about it, just say so. No. Sing this memory of a ball pit. Wait. Is that ball pit eggs? Those are eggs. Those are not ball pits. It's full of eggs. Why is his memory full of eggs? Yeah, that one's hard to explain. Hard to explain. I got this. No one turns down an interview with someone this pretty. Pretty? I thought you would have said cute. Where were you born? Where? What'd you eat for breakfast this morning? What? what? Where was he born? What's your greatest strength? My decisiveness. Wait, wait, I changed my mind. This will be the single <laughs> Decisiveness, but never mind. So if... The kid scares me. <laughs> yeah, pretty good at fixing those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's... Well, burn those eggs. I want to know. Me? Avoid? No. But let's skip it. Where's Edith Bell? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop being weird. We have to fix all Oh, she just held her back with her yes. face. There's something you don't want me to see look is there judge well did you ever think maybe it's none of your business um something's burning oh wait that little fire thing is the fire that amity caused no not the egg one. Oh my god Ida, you had to pick bells oh my god she is not super reliable. She's not reliable. <gasps> it's anything to do with Amity. Oh, it hates. So wait, is it something Amity did to Willow? <laughs> Giant light spell. Ice, no ice. <laughs> nice one. She's blushing. She's blushing. <laughs> oh, it's the inner willow. It is. Has to be a being made of all emotions. 
But ever since you set Willow's mind on fire, all I can feel is anger. Angry Willow. Scary, but in a good way. <laughs> Voice actress is doing a good job. But Amity wanted this. Oh yeah, she wanted it to be burned. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gotta face it. Creepy, but I like this. <laughs> like, I want to pry more. Oh, Jiminy Christmas! Where are we? You have to get out. Yes, below. get to see. Because, because, is it because I still can't do magic? Amity it's Amity. Amity, Amity did it. The, because you're a weakling. You can't do magic, so I don't want to be your friend. Now go. Yep. I thought so. Pick on her for years, all because you thought she was weak. After all, out of sight, out of mind. Uh oh. <laughs> please, please. Amity. Was her parents? Amity's parents. What's Willow doing here? She wasn't on the guest list for a reason. But she's. Uh, we associate with the strongest of witchlings. You may choose a new friend from one of the suitable companions we invited. But they're mean. <laughs> Wow, you know what? These pa Amity's parents, uh, Pacifica's parents, and then Stolas's dad, Paimon, they'd all get along swimmingly, wouldn't they? Their parents doesn't mean I have to Parents of the year. Then we will. Isn't that the principal's voice actor? Wow. Okay, yeah. And she was so little. Won't let Basha and her gang pick on you ever again. I'm not actually gonna rip it because it's a real butterfly, but you get the gesture, right? Ah, uh, nice, Amity. <laughs> Me too. Same goes for Amity. Then if Hug. it's okay, Amity and I still have some work to do. Could she help fix them? Or no, Amity has to be the one that fix them. There we go. All pretty. Oh, it's literally uh well. <laughs> the face of crying face! Clumsy. Well, why don't we go see? You better stand up to your friends now, Amity. I swear it. Don't you be friends with them anymore. The interview goes to King. Hootie. Yay! I was gonna say Hootie. Hoot. Only the owl house itself. <gasps> this little Tell gasp. Everything. Or actually, that wasn't a little gasp. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna what? Bake that bird in a pie. I'm no. Bake that kid into a pie. Huh? Now you hear the bells. All right, I put people in there. All right, I put people in there. He died, I swear. The kid's fine. He's just dead to us. Look at the way that freaking king walks away. Mixed messages. Wait, what did she say? Wait, 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 what did she say? <laughs> very mixed messages. Not really. It's that he's okay physically and mentally, but to them, he's dead. I remember wow. She's back, folks. My girl's back. My girl. So hard, you'll never forget me again. This yeah. is so sweet. Amity, don't go. Stay. Why, Hootie? Why are you outstretched? Let's start. Yay. Question. How did Amity happen to see the photo I hid in class? He said nothing about shenanigans. My first oh my. <laughs> Let the butterfly free. Super hoot, hoot, hootie, hoot, hoot. Dang it, I wanted to see Amity stand up to them. Although I'm pretty sure we're gonna get an episode on that. We've gotta. Has anyone ever made Luce's hoodie? Like, it's so cute. Alright, before I get caught up in the ending, our outro. Uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. <laughs> Alright, so my thoughts for this episode. I will say that, you know what? I love Gravity Falls. I really do. I don't know. Owl House almost feels like Gravity Falls. Like, I love Dipper. Um, I love Stan. I love the characters in Gravity Falls. And I love Bill. I like, I love Gravity Falls. But this almost feels like Gravity Falls walked so Owl House could run. Because what... The, the few nitpicks I had of Gravity Falls, which is I wish more characters had more development. Um, it feels like Owl House is doing that. 
uh because it feels like they're developing their characters very well like i'll be honest this episode for will's backstory i did not think would go like this i really really like the the idea like or how they handled the whole memory thing because we got that in gravity falls with um i know these aren't spoilers because the show's been out for a long time but in case they are don't listen to this part um but like the episode where uh dipper mabel and seuss went into stan's mind for his memories and stuff to to stop bill uh like i like that that was unique too with the memories you know like almost being like a fun house with them and being everywhere but in terms of restoring one's memory i feel like this is what they could have done for stan like at the end of gravity falls when he lost his memory they could have done like this kind of scene feels like it would have been great for stan where it was fixing his memories being on fire and all that stuff kind of i kind of wish now we had gotten something like that in gravity falls but that's a nitpick uh but yeah i like what they did with this and how we the way we found out what happened between amity and, and um willow was amity not only cut off ties with willow but then tried hiding it and in doing so she started burning up all of willow's memories and then had to fix it so in a way by fixing that she also had to fix what she did to willow I don't know, I, really, I just really like how they did all this. Like, um, I like the inner Willow. And I like how it was, it wasn't like, at first I thought with the fire, I thought maybe it was something from Amity's magic. But then that didn't really make sense, because why would it go into her mind? Um, but then it turns out it's inner Willow that's just doing what Amity wanted her to do, which is you want to get rid of your memory. You want Willow to forget you, right? You want Willow to not remember who you are and stuff? Then fine, I'll do that for you. And so Amity had to realize, I don't want that. I don't want her to forget me. Like, I don't want to destroy her memories just because I don't want to face the fact that I broke off our friendship. But then, twist, it's Amity's parents who told her to break it off with Willow, which must have been very hard for Willow, especially, or must have been very hard for Amity. Especially because you look at how young they were. So they're probably like what here they're like probably 13, 12, 13. No, maybe 13. Yeah, I would say like 12, 13. And so you look at them then that they were probably like what? Seven, eight. So they were young. And poor Willow, you know, not understanding why that was. And then you have Amity feeling bad for having to deliver that message. Like, oh, look at her parents. I wonder if we're ever going to see what Amity's parents look like. I feel like they're gonna look like the the wizard ver version of Pacifica's parents. <laughs> they're gonna look like pompous, maybe not rich, but just pompous wizards. Um, uh, but yeah, plot-wise, love this one. Character-wise, uh, we didn't really see anything, any, we didn't see any new characters, but, um, yeah, everyone, the only technically new character was the inner Willow, and I actually liked her. The voice actress for Willow really made her sound, like, not villainous, but not even ominous, threatening. She did a good job making her sound threatening. Uh, animation was great as usual. Um, music, I would say good. Well, I, I keep saying this about the show, like, there's times where I notice music where I'm like, oh, I really like that, and there's times where it just tastes similar. Which is not a bad thing, because I like the music for the show. I'm probably going to say this multiple times throughout the series, but yeah. Anyway, um, overall, really like this episode. Um, I can't wait to see what happens in the next one, because that one is supposedly going to be a prom episode that a few of you have commented and said that I need to dress up as fancily as I can. If not, Hootie will appear under my bed and haunt me, which... Jokes on you, I actually want Hootie to appear, but uh, <laughs> I will do that. I will dress as fancy as I can. I don't have any dresses or anything, but I will um, fancify myself, to say. Uh, but yeah, um, thank you. those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. Link is in the description and pinned comment below. But anyway, have a wonderful morning, after night, and keep reading bright. See ya.